time for another UMB cast uh, little streaming research session this time around I'm streaming for episode 47 I believe it is where I will be covering 1994's at least I'm pretty sure it's 1994's Beneath a Steel Sky so um, yeah this is one of my list of shame games I've never played it and by extension I've uh, never experienced some broken sword or any of the stuff that kind of uh, is is related to it beneath the steel skies too and all that noise. So uh, I'm actually really excited. I know this is one of the uh, one of the more popular adventure games I never played. So I'm uh, I read the manual. I know a little bit about the background. It's kind of the steampunky, not steampunky, a cyberpunky future, uh, police state, all that noise. So uh, yeah, so I got Scum VM here up and running. Beneath the steel sky is actually free. Uh, you can get it off GOG, or you can get it off ScumVM's site, I believe, and uh, it runs quite well uh, using ScumVM's integrated stuff, using my MT32 and all that stuff, so uh, enough about that. I got the CD version, so I'm pretty sure there's talking, so let's uh, let's get rolling. Start. So this is another Virgin Interactive game, as we're so fond of uh, of pointing out. We've been seeing quite a few of these lately, and developed by Revolution Software. Now I guess we roll into the intro. The old man was trying to tell the future, looking for pictures in the campfire. Oh, I see evil, evil born deep beneath the city. Far from the light of day, I see it growing safe beneath a sky of steel. Scheming in the dark, gathering strength, and now, oh, now the evil spreads. It sends deadly feelers over the land above, across the gap, reaching towards this very place. I'd seen him do it a hundred times, but I humor him. After all, he'd been like a father to me. And what does this evil want here? Oh, my son, I fear. I fear the evil wants you. That was when Joey piped up. Sensors detect incoming audio source. The evil, the evil is nearly here. It sounded more like a copter than a demon. But the next thing, all hell let loose in. Run, Foster, run! Hide from the evil! Foster! Help! Better make my next body move faster, Foster! He was only a robot. Oh, I love the little guy. Then, as suddenly as it started, the shooting stopped. There was a moment's silence as the copter cut its rotors. Then... Whoever is in charge here, come forward. Now! Only a fool would have argued with that firepower. I am the leader of these people. We are peaceful. Bring him here. At once, Commander Reich. We're looking for someone. Someone who doesn't belong here. Who Commander wasn't Rick. born in wow. this garbage dump. Who came from the city as a child. We want to take him home again. My mind racing. I remembered where I'd seen that symbol before. It was the day the tribe found me. The day of the crash. The day my mother died. You all right, city boy? Got a name, son? R Robert. Ah. Oh. Welcome to the Gap, Robert. As he patched me up, the old man had gently explained that there was no way back into the city, and I already knew there was nothing he could do for Mother. His tribe was poor, but they treated me like one of their own. I learned how to survive in the wasteland they called the Gap, and scavenging from the city dumps. As the years passed, I forgot my life in the city. Discovered new talents. Ha! I'm your friend. Call me Joey. Hmm. And got a second name. This is what we'll call you. Now that you've come of age, son, we found you, fostered you. So that makes you Robert Foster. Wasted enough time. Give us the runaway, or we'll shoot everyone. Starting with you, Granddad. The old man had been right for once. It was me they wanted. No, my son. Don't let the evil take you. Run! DNA scan confirms it's him, sir. Evil had come to the gap, just as he said. Take him. But had the old man seen why it wanted me? 
or what it would do next, it was too late to ask him now. Leaving destruction zone, Commander Reich. Good. Detonate. Nah. Much too late. That sucks. Why you murdering? Keep him quiet. All I could do was wait, just like on a hunt, just like the old man taught me. Wait, and be ready. It was dawn when we reached the city. Land in the central security compound. A dawn my tribe would never see. They were no more than a note in Reich's book now. Yes, sir. Locking on automatic landing beacon. But what was I? Why did... Sir, the guidance system. It's gone crazy. We're going to hit. Maybe I'd get some answers now. If I survived another copter crash. Nah. I like the style. I really like the comic booky style. Looks like everyone survived the crash at least. What do you want? Looking for a saboteur from the Gap. He crashed a chopper and escaped. Oh, sounds dangerous to me. Don't worry, he's not going anywhere. We cut the power to the elevator. And the crash has blocked the walkway. What if he comes in here? You'll be fine, we posted guards. And Reich wants to hunt him down personally. Okay, this guy must be important. Yeah, we got orders direct from Link. Take him alive before he does any more damage. Best of luck to you. These guys are out to get me, but why? They already destroyed my home and my people. Well, Reich, whoever you are, it's retribution time. Gotta be clever. Play them at their own game. First thing is to get Joey running again. Uh -huh. Alright, so it's kind of a hybrid Sierra Lucas RT system. Run door. Doesn't look as if it's ever used. Shut tight. Just as well there isn't a fire. I could make use of that. <laughs> I love that. Just damn, jam it in your shirt. Metal bar and Joey. Crowbar is strong enough to give good leverage. Okay. Let's see if that works. Who's up there? You won't escape that way! Meh. He must have jumped fell all the way to ground level. Phew. Lucky escape. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Doesn't look as if it's ever used.
fire exit. Do not obstruct. Key available on presentation of requisition form SOS23. <laughs> kind of defeats the purpose of a fire door. How does it like autosave? Let's check our save games here. Autosave. Well, that's handy. Anyways, fire door. So now I think there's no one in here, so I can go downstairs. No, stairs, there we go. Those stairs don't look safe to me. <laughs> That's not my problem. Use them. That panel in the floor looks like an elevator. It doesn't look as if it would bear my weight. Okay. It's wheezing and banging. Like an asthmatic dinosaur in the mating season. <laughs> I'm not putting my hand anywhere near there. Alright, let's let's go the other way. Is that way probably not ideal. That's where I came from. A transport droid. Wonder if I could fix it. If Joey was here, he'd know what to do. A discarded coffee machine? Whatever that was, it's beyond repair. Well, let's see. I gotta fix that, and I gotta fix Joey, and I got a pile of junk, so... Let's see. I got Joey's circuit board. The circuits on the board contain Joey's unique personality. No? Aha! I thought it was beyond Welcome repair. Welcome back, Joey. Is this the best shell you could find? Listen, we're in deep trouble. You've turned me into a vacuum cleaner. It's functional. Don't be ungrateful. Now, I don't know where we are, or why we were brought here, but I intend to get some answers. I've got a weird reading from my scanner. We're 120 meters above the ground. We've got to find a way down and keep out of the way of security. What's our present location? What does it matter? We've had it. Can you start that transport? Do yourself, Foster. I'm just a cleaning droid, remember? Any human activity nearby? How should I know? The shell sensors are useless. He's not very handy, or it's kind of negative. <laughs> that little shell suits you, Joey. Get lost, Foster. It's awful. Find me a new one. What tools does that shell have? None of any use, unless you're into housework. I've got an onboard buffing and polishing tool and an extendable probe. We have to get out of this city. Can't we just stay here? Don't you miss our home, the Gap? With all that sand clogging my circuits? No, I don't. Forget it. Let's get on the elevator. An elevator to the floor below. Hey! What are you doing? Weren't you told? Routine inspection. Well, keep off that elevator! Your weight set the alarm off! And 
and I can't concentrate with all that noise. The old guy's right, you moron. That lift's designed for life machinery. Not a hulking animal like you. Where did you get that robot? I built him. Like it? It's crap, son. Excuse me. What now? Where am I? You're in the Union City recycling plant. Do you buy scrap metal? I don't want to be recycled, Rob. I like the shell, really. <laughs> What's the best way out of the city? You'll have to get to ground level first. You're at the top of Erie Tower Block. Can't I use your elevator? No, you can't. It's not built for humans. And besides, it only goes down to the furnace. So how do I get to ground level? There's an elevator out on the walkway. Of course, you can't reach it right now. Why not? Cause Reich's boys are guarding the exit from the plant. How come your elevator's not working? It's activated automatically by the transport robot. Ah. What's wrong with the transport? It's broken down. Again. Clearly. It's probably the Doppler charge thingamajig. But I haven't got time to mend it now. I'll get on with my inspection. You do that, son. Can you start that transport? You don't give up, do you? Have you found out what's wrong with it? It's the, uh, Knopfler charge reducer thingy. In that case, <laughs> all it needs is a jump start. This is embarrassing, Foster. You're not gonna watch, are you? I always suspected you of being a voyeur. <laughs> Sexy! Come on, just do it. Here goes. <laughs> That's creepy. There. How was it for you? Pretty lights. And a keyhole. Hmm. But no sign of a key. Of course not. I can't operate it without the key. Flashing lights like these can be hypnotic. So I'm thinking the robot dude is supposed to come back. Aha! Furnace, that's good. Ooh, camera. That thing's watching me. Sure is. Good thing I'm naturally photogenic. Some oven. Wonder what's cooking. Let's save. Not that I need to, but why not? Furness. <laughs> Joey's got a helicopter thingy. Chop a blade. That's got to be a way out. No buttons, just a thin slot. Uh, 
Let's see. Can you open that door? I'll give it a try. Little arm. Oh, that was easy enough. Ah. No sudden moves, over man. Over man. Get over to the furnace. You're Officer Reich, I presume. You've made a mistake. I'm not Overman. What the? Link, we can't let him escape. What the? Whoa. What the hell is going on? Reich seems pretty cut up about it. <laughs> but he's given me two leads. Overman and Link. Barbecued. I'll never eat kebab again. He was carrying an ID card. The card may be useful. And I'll take his dark glasses, too. All right, let's get the hell out of here. That was creepy as hell. We're way up in the clouds, Joey. We need to find a way to the ground. Nah, uh, let's see here. Let's go that way. It's a computer terminal with the word link on it. Nothing happens. Hmm. Let's go here. It's a robot welder. Joey would love that shell. <laughs> Let's talk to this woman. What are you doing? I'm checking the pipes. They have to be perfect. That's ridiculous. If they have to be perfect, they should be checked by a robot. What's that? He's my mechanoid chum, Joey. It's cute. Does it do tricks? Not really. He just follows me around and gets in my way. How do I get down to ground level? Take the elevator. Or the big jump if you're desperate. <laughs> Have security been in here? Yeah, they were really stirred up. I think they were looking for someone. Look, I'm not supposed to talk to you. Why not? Supervisor's orders. That's quite the supervisor. I'm transferring you, lass. I wish you wouldn't call me that. My name is Anita. Don't answer back, woman. <laughs> Report to the testing room immediately. I like his fur coat. What are you doing here? Do you know who I am, lad? I've no idea. I don't work here. I'm Gilbert Lamb, the supervisor. Mind if I look around? I certainly do. Who are you? Security, looking for a fugitive. This factory has been searched already. He's not here. Can't be too careful. Just don't interfere with production. What's that robot doing here? He's my personal assistant. Say hello, Joey. Hello, Joey. Nah. <laughs> Pity he's got no brain. The display is incomprehensible. Let's see what else there is to see in here.
It's part of the mechanism driving the conveyor. Some kind of scanner. The metal bar is too thick to push in there. That's not what I want. Nah. That doesn't seem right. <laughs> Stairway. I want to get back to that recycling center. I think there's something I forgot to get in that first room, and hopefully I can get back to it. Otherwise, i got to start over. Nothing down there except the furnace. I'll wait here for my playmate. Probably just got to move over one more screen. Oof. Okay, let's get out of here. That's not moving anymore. How about here? It could be the good room. Good. Okay, let's go across. Is that blood there? Interesting. Not supposed to be. Oh, I guess I'm going here, maybe. Junk. Exit. Oof. Cupboard. Smart design. It is. Ah, uh, that's what I needed. It's like a laser lathe or something. Sleek. High precision and high powered. It's a lever with a big red knob just waiting to be pulled. Do it. It doesn't move. Ah, oh, sucks. Okay, back to where we were. Okay, back across here. Like, Joey only comes to areas where he needs to be, it seems. Supervisor dude, let's get back in here. throw a monkey wrench into this machine. 
Beth really put a wrench in the works. Ah. Oh no! Production stopped! You wouldn't know anything about it, would you? Me? I'm no technician. Me neither. Then we'll go crazy. Can't you do anything to help me? I could get my robot pal to look at it. No thanks. In my experience, robots spell trouble. Oh well. I'll pretend I didn't notice it. I'll keep this wrench. It's really useful. <laughs> I've loosened the robot's shell. Do you want a new shell, Joey? Do you mean that welder? That's right. You like it? I'll say. It's the mutt's nuts. The mutt's nuts. Oh. Excellent. Really? That's how that works? <laughs> how do you like the new shell? It's sleek. Can't wait to use the welder. You be careful with that thing. If I want you to use it, I'll tell you. Exterminate! <laughs> Exterminate! <laughs> and cut that out! <laughs> oh, that's awesome! I almost feel guilty for stealing its body. Let's save the game. Save. Enter sensor door. I know I spelled it wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's My what mistake. I thought. thought it was the John. It's the storeroom for robots only. Lamb doesn't trust humans to go in there, even though there's nothing worth pinching. Well, conveniently, I have a robot. I want you to check out the storeroom. What's the catch? There's no catch. There could be something useful in there. Don't count on it. Come on, Joey. You can do it. They're frazzed beyond repair. All oh, right, so I did totally like mess them up. Find anything useful in the stores? No, but I found the power for the alarm system. There's a fuse box on the wall. Joey, you're brilliant. Yeah. He does kind of look like a little Cylon, doesn't he? <laughs> Go and disable the fuse box in the stores. I could melt through it with my welder. Sure. Wouldn't that be dangerous? Very. But I'm feeling reckless. <laughs> and welding is fun. <laughs> I like Joey. <laughs> Take care, Joey. Okay, let's go see what Joey did. WD-40. Ooh, 
Ooh, putty. I like that. Hey, Peter. I mean, no, the Seinfeld one. What's this putty all about? The putty-like substance is soft and plastic. Ooh, there's a key. And WD-40. Oh, that's gotta be handy. That'll come in handy for sure. can contains WD-40, the all-purpose cleaning and lubricating liquid. Okay, let's get out of here. Nope. Hey. Don't move. I have to search you. What for? I'm not a criminal. It's the supervisor's orders. If anything's missing, I get the blame. Hey, that tickles. Open up that coat. Why are you carrying that crowbar? It's got sentimental value. My mother gave it to me. Is that a wrench? I carry it for luck. You're a walking toolbox. Blimey. Smart shades. You can have them if you like. Really? Oh, I could fix them with sticky tape. Is that a can of lubricant? Yes. One squirt is just the job. I'd never be without a can of lubricant. You are now. Cause that can is mine. You nicked that key, didn't you? Thank you for your cooperation. Whoops. By the way, that sweater you're wearing. Don't laugh at my sweater. I'm not. I think it's brilliant. Will you swap it for my clipboard? Not in a million years. <laughs> I'd like to see this sweater. Anyways, I got what I needed, which is the putty, apparently. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Liking the music, too. And let's get out of here. A loose cable. Now that could be very useful. Mm, not just yet. Fancy doing some welding, Joey? You bet. I want some action. Who's the victim? You can't go using your welder on people. Oh yeah? Who says? Asimov's laws of robotics. That's true. It's fiction, Foster. It's just something some guy made up. It's sound moral sense. Anyway, what I had in mind was that cable. This sounds like a job for... Captain Welder! Nah. Well, that wasn't very helpful. Never mind. Alright. Nah, I don't want to talk to that dude. He's just kind of a jerk. That's an old-looking dude. Excuse me. Yep. What do you want? Speak up. I'm here to inspect the plant. 
Oh, I'm allergic to plants. They give me sores and boils. I meant the power plant. Well, what's stopping ya? Who are you anyway? My name's Foster. Stay away from him, Rob. He's a human bomb. What are you talking about? He's got a fuse in his mouth. <laughs> That's a cigarette. He's inhaling the smoke for pleasure. Get serious, Foster. Do you know a guy called Oberman? Nah, never heard of him. What's your opinion of the council? They're doing a grand job. It's switched to the on position. Leave that alone! You trying to kill yourself? It's marked Surge Test Control. It's marked Surge Test Control. It's nothing. There's a safety device holding it fast. Oh, that's easy enough to fix. I've loosened the nut. That seems like kind of a bug. There we go. I've loosened the nut. Try pressing the button on the right. Now you've done it, mate. I'll have to fetch old Obin. And you better stay here in case there's an explosion. Shit out of there. Interlevel access suspended during routine anti-terrorist strike. Security services protecting the community. It's a standard card slot. Well, I happen to have a standard card. 
Aha! Come on, Joey. Faster, Joey, faster! Ah, uh, there's my red cable. This level's happier. It's long and flexible. Just what I need. Because God knows you need some kind of rope in every game like this. Uh, save game. Got cable. Dude. S. Reich. So this is where he lived. That's convenient. It's a standard card slot. Oh. He lives there. Oh, look at that. G. Lamb. It's that supervisor's apartment. Convenient to work, I guess. Okay, well, let's go, uh, let's go in here. <laughs> He's got fish. That fish must get very bored with its little world. It shows different kinds of fish. Reich must have been fond of them. It's a food dispenser. It must be empty. A poor fish will be hungry. It's not switched on. It doesn't work. The power must be off. All right, I probably did that. I think I did that. Nothing there. Union City Fish Fanciers Club. <laughs> Third prize, Tropical Mutant category. It's a picture of hills covered with white stuff. That's where poor Reich slept. Poor Reich. I couldn't sleep there. Reich would haunt me. <laughs> It still bears the impression of his head. This magazine is called Dangerous Bikes Monthly and bears a photo of a man in traction. My name's Foster. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gallagher. What's going on in this city? Something wonderful. Tell me about it, please. I can't do that. Everything will become apparent when the time is right. Okay. Can you direct me to the ground level? You're a social transcender. Sure. Going up in this world means going down. It's all a question of status. Social transcender. Okay. 
Uh. If that's art, I must be missing something. Welcome to Link. Please insert your card. <laughs> a big female robot with a welding torch. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> what a dump. I wouldn't want to go there. It's a painting of how things used to look. It's a wooden case with lots of little compartments. Hello. Welcome to Trevor's Travel Company. Where do you want to go? Can you get me to ground level? Sure, on one of my luxury air coach tours. Coach travel makes me sick. Me too. I prefer to keep my wheels on the ground. What kind of tours do you offer? Well, there's a wide choice. The Grand City Tour, the Economy City Tour, and the Mystery Tour. Of the city. <laughs> What's the difference between Grand and Economy? The Economy Tour is cheaper. Exactly the same itinerary, but less prestigious. <laughs> What's the mystery tour? If I told you, it wouldn't be a mystery. How do I know it's not a rip-off? That's the chance you have to take. Forget about the tour. Would you like this magazine? It's the T.E. Lawrence Collector's Issue. I've been looking for that for years. If I give it to you, will you help me? I'd do anything to get that magazine. Book me on the economy tour. I'll make your reservation. You can pick up the ticket in a month or two. A month? Can't I have the ticket now? Would you swap a ticket for this magazine? You mean it? Of course I will! Do you know a guy called Overman? Never heard of him. It doesn't matter. Travel co-tours. One adult. All right. What are you doing? Just watching and waiting. What for? I won't know until it happens. I guess not. Are you feeling all right? Never felt better. You look depressed. Don't worry about me. You've got enough to worry about. Okay. What do you mean? Who are you? It's too early to tell. What? I'm newborn. Too much in flux. I don't understand. Do you always talk in riddles? I don't think I do. Maybe it's your perception that's at fault. 
maybe your interpretation of what I say differs from the intent of what I mean. Maybe. Sorry to disturb you. Oh, it took too long. I gotta wait for that dude to come back out. I've never seen anything so green. Such a green shrub. It smells fresh and alive. You know, like a shrubbery. <laughs> ha. Hey, Lamb. Hello, Supervisor. Oh, it's you. I didn't expect to meet you here. How did you gain access to this level? I took the elevator, same as you. You're not following me, are you? I've got better things to do with my time. Bet you're wondering who fixed the elevator. Whoever it was, he gets my thanks. Actually, it was me. You don't expect me to believe that, do you? You can't pull the wool over my eyes. <laughs> I thought you'd be grateful. Gratitude is for folk who accept charity, lad. I've no time for sponges and scroungers. Hey, Lamb. Is this where you live? Yes, this is Bellevue. Very... nice. Living here makes my job more bearable. But how I wish I could get away sometimes. Oh. What I need is a holiday. Oh. A break from all this managerial responsibility. Never mind. Hey, Lamb. Would you like this ticket? What's it for, lad? A tour. Wouldn't you like a holiday? You're right. I really deserve a break. You know, I'm so touched. I'm going to give you something in return. I was kind of hoping you might. <laughs> something you'll look back on for the rest of your life. Yeah? Hi, lad. A tour of my factory. Oh, that's good of him. Oh, great. <laughs> Meet me there. Uh, you're in for a treat. <laughs> Why can't I just walk there with him? That's down only, so I gotta go to the up to get back to the factory. Ooh, is there anything in here? Garbage can. I wonder what's kept in there. Garbage. It's empty. Ah. Come on, Come on, Joey. Don't want to leave Joey. made of real fur? That's right, real beaver fur. Beaver coat. Made from the last ten beavers in the world. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> it's totally cool. And expensive. When do I get the tour you promised me? 
Well, there's no time like the present. We'll start right now. Now, take a look at this machine. This machine measures the internal bore of the pipes. Accurate to 20 decimal places, whatever that means. <laughs> Impressive, isn't it? Sure All is a manager. those numbers. I'm sure they mean something. Follow me. I'll show you the next section. This machine is supposed to drive the conveyor, but it's not bloody working. Because I bloody broke it. Heads will roll for this. Foreman Potts, why is this machine stopped? Stopped? I've been so busy I didn't notice. Can't I trust you with anything? Look after my guest, Potts. I'll have to leave you to show yourself around. Pots. All right, I already talked to that dude. There's Anita. Oh, butt on her. What are you doing now? Checking for cracks with x-rays. You shouldn't be here without a protective suit. You're not wearing one. Lamb told me I didn't qualify. Oh. As I'm a D-Link, and a woman. A D-Link? What's a D-Link? D-Link is the lowest social category. When your link status is zero, you forfeit all rights and your freedom to move back the city. How come you didn't know that? I'm an outsider from the Gap. What? So it's you security you're after. You won't get far without an ID card. Ah, I managed to find one. I bet it won't get you to ground level, though. You'll need a link status of eight or more. I have to get to ground level. Look, I really sympathize with you. I could give you my jammer. What's a jammer? Bypass software. Highly illegal. It gets you past the retina scan to security files. That's a start. Can you let me have the jammer? Give me your ID card. An over I've got a discrepancy of 0.13. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Here's my card. Thanks. This won't take long. What are you doing? Downloading the jammer to your card. There, it's done. Don't worry. I'll fix everything. You're really? taking a huge risk. No problem. I'll get us both back on Link's files. How come you were made a D-Link? I was caught hacking into Link. Why did you do that? There are areas in Link space used by security. I was trying to discover what they're up to. What do you mean by Link space? The word inside the computer's memory. The abstract projection of linked circuits and data banks. Internet. Will the jammer get me into link space? <sighs> no, the only access is through the special interface. There's just one little problem. You'll need to get a Schreibman port. How do I get a Schreibman port? Well, you'll have to undergo surgery. Yeah. I need that like I need a hole in the head. Literally. The Schreiberman port is a hole in the head. Does Link have any internal security? There'll be foils, naturally. What are they? Intrusion foil programs. Are they dangerous? Well, standard IFPs are simply deterrents. But some high-level foils can be lethal. Hmm. What's so special about these pipes? 
I'm not sure, but the dimensions of the bore must conform to precise specifications. All that effort for a bit of plumbing? It's suspicious, isn't it? Perhaps they're part of a giant weapon. Oh, come on, that's a bit far-fetched. <laughs> what are you doing after work? What did you have in mind? Well, an evening at the theater, a walk by the lake in the moonlight, and to finish, a candlelit supper. Sounds great. But first I'll have to get decontaminated. Another time, perhaps. What's your opinion of Lamb? I'm a D-Link. I'm not entitled to an opinion. <laughs> but to be honest, I think he's a turd. A <laughs> turd. Nice. <laughs> what do you know about the Council? It was one of the Council who came up with a plan. To bond his mind with Link. And ever since then, things have been getting weird. See you later. Alright, let's get out of here. Get on some link. Okay. Bell View Gardens, balance of account, link status three. Hey, Lamb. Thanks for the tour. You're welcome. I hope you've learned something about pipes. Oh yes, it was most instructive. From now on, whenever I smell raw sewage, I'll think of you, Gilbert. Let me give you a tip, lad. If you want to get anywhere in this city, you have to bend the rules. In what way? If you don't want to get entangled in red tape, you need insurance, a special policy. See my friend Anchor. He'll help you out. Hmm. Hey, Lamb. Do you know a guy called Overman? Doberman? No, I don't. What do you do for entertainment around here? If I'm looking for entertainment, I go home and watch a video. 
See you later. Hey, Lamb. for a second. Do you have a problem? Aye, lad. I was hoping to see you. My card isn't working and I can't use the elevator. Perhaps you've been made a D-Link. Don't be so bloody impertinent, lad. What will poor little Couscous do? Who's Couscous? My pussy. She has to be fed. What would I do if she died? You could always get another one. It wouldn't be the same. I've had couscous since she was a kitten. I could feed her for you. If I could get into your apartment. You go down to Bellevue, and I'll authorize it so you can. By the way, Couscous likes to be pampered. Like all women, eh, lad? <laughs> <laughs> Apart from D-Links, you mean. You need therapy, lamb. Come on, Joey. Little Robot Pal kind of reminds me of, uh, what was that game? Not Deponia, Primordia. Yes, Primordia. Where you have a, you're a robot too in that game, but you, you also have a snarky Robot Pal. Titled Pussies on Parade. Ye. Fed the dude's cat, that should do nicely. Do such glamorous things in these games. Okay, let's get to the next place I'm supposed to go. And then I think we'll call it for now. Because I got places to be, unfortunately. Okay, so I guess that'll do. I will pick this up for sure, because I want to see more of this game, because it is damned interesting. So, thanks everybody. Let's just do a save here. And... Bio something. Save. And we will go back here, and we will return to launcher, and game over. Player one, be vigilant. All right. Thanks for hanging out with me. Probably going to do a little more of this tomorrow, because, like I just said, I want to see some more. All right. That'll do. Battle control terminated.